Hello, this is Easy Chinese, and I'm Jenny. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the characters related to measurement. Measurement of time, length, distance, and weight. We have learned these three characters already. Remember the first one? We have learned it means the sun. Because we see the sunrise and the sunset within a day, so this character also represents a day. And this one we have learned means sky and also means a day. Um, I think in China, not several, you know, oftentimes we have different characters mean the same thing. I think even in English we have the same situation. So these both characters means daytime, day. And this we have learned it as a moon. But people see the full moon once a month or the new moon once a month. So this character also represents the moon. So the Chinese calendar are actually is always the lunar calendar. We celebrate the first full moon, we celebrate the, the August full moon. So this represents a month. Uh, remember the pronunciation? Mm. Tian Yue. This is an image of a person carrying this um, harvest uh, crops. Uh, either it's a wheat or rice. You see this here means it's ripe already. So it's harvested the, the crop. It's, I show you, I've shown you the map of China, right? In most of the area in China, you can only harvest your crop once a year. So this character simplified like this means a year. The pronunciation is ne yi an nian. Pierre hong hong shu hong shu nian a year. This character we have also learned before. Remember? The top, the upper part is uh, ba, eight, number eight. The lower part is a knife, uh, and it's a, use a knife to cut one thing in half. It means separate. The pronunciation is fen. It also means a minute, because in the past, in China, you know, we don't have this concept of time of a minute. But this is uh, completely, we borrowed the, the word, use this word to represent a minute. Fen, and this character, remember the right part, right half we have learned means center, middle. Pronunciation is zhong, zhong. Uh, remember the, the country name of China is Zhongguo. And this part, the radical, uh, gives the meaning. In future, if you see this part, it's always related to metal. So in the past, if you put like this part gave you the pronunciation, this part gave you the meaning, and it means a uh, uh, clock or bell, because in the past the bell all is normally made of uh, metal, so we put um, this as a radical gives the meaning. And together it also pronounced as zhi ong zhong means clock or bell. Uh, if we say one minute in Chinese is yi fen zhong pie heng 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 shu ti shu heng zhe heng shu Zhong, a clock or a bell. This, remember we just learned this shape represent uh, wheat or rice. It's um, already ripened, right? And um, this part means small or less or a fine, you know. Uh, this together, which 
refer to the small fine thrown or pointing stuff on this uh, wheat. Because we don't have this uh, concept of a second in China, we use this character which refer to very small or fine pointing of the wheat, represent a second, which means a second, the pronunciation is mo yi ao miao, the third tone. And this part, currently, uh, the simplified version is like this. If you see the characters with this as a radical, uh, always re related to uh, the crops uh, in the wheat or rice. And this means uh, uh, less of, uh, small, or means young also. Yeah, I said this also means small or young. It equals to, we have learned this, small. Right? Small wheat pointing together means a second. Here, hang shu pier na shu pier na pier miao second. This character means our um, because our is also a Western concept. In China, this character originally means season. If we say 四十, remember 四 means four. 四十 means four seasons. But currently it means hour. In the past, Chinese used this uh, sundial to monitor the time in the daytime when it, you, ha you can see the sun. And uh, normally one hour or Chinese say uh, shi chen equals to two hours current uh, clock equals two hours and in the night they measure the time by burning this uh, incense stick actually the people describe the time to finish the one incense stick I don't know what it was the how, about an uh, uh, an hour or two two hours, but this is a measure measurement of timing in the past in the night. And uh, now, if we say one hour, we the Chinese is yi xiao shi. Remember the xiao in small, because the original Chinese yi shi chen equals two hours. But in currently, if we say one hour, we say yi xiao shi, a small hour. After part is the sum. Remember, shu, heng, zhe, heng, heng. The right part, heng, shu, go, dia. I will teach you what this means later. Shi, hour. This um, is, uh, these are the two sides of the door. In the past, the door is like this. You, you have two sides. You open the door like this, and this means you look at the sun between in the gap um, between the gap of the two sides of the door. And uh, it means time actually. And now currently you put the sun in inside. This represents the door. And uh, it also means gap. This in between this this gap and or time. Remember we just learned this word shi it means hour shi jian put together means time the pronunciation is jian ji an jian right the door you know outside the which the part represented the door first shu dian heng zhe go there is a gap here and the sun Jian, time or gap. Okay, we have just talked about the measurement about um, time. Now we want to learn about measurement about the length. This, remember this shape is uh, your hand. And put one stroke here. Actually, this means the length 
from your waist to where you can feel your pause. This distance is uh, in Chinese, the pronunciation is cun. Yi cun uh, is about uh, 3.3 centimeter. If you go to see a Chinese doctor, they will do this for sure. He will feel your pulse right here. That's, that's where the distance from your waist to where this doctor will feel your pulse. So this character means cun. The pronunciation cun is about 3.3 3 centimeter. You write it hung shu go yar. Very simple. This is a measurement between your knee and your ankle. So this is the length between your knees and ankle. And now the simplified version is like this. The pronunciation is chi chi chi. One yi chi equals about 33.3 um, centimeter, which means Yi chi equals to shi cun. Remember, we just learned yi cun about 3.3 centimeter. So yi chi equals to shi cun. And we, in Chinese, we translate uh, the English word inch to use a, put a, a mouse on the left side and the cun on the right, right side. We call it English cun, in cun, inch. Um, feet, in Chinese we translate it to ying chi. Ying means uh, English, ying chi. Or this way. Put uh, a mouse on the left side. Yin chi, yin cun. Uh, yeah. Heng zhe, heng pie, nai, chi. Look at this image. Uh, these are uh, the small dots, are the rice grains, and um, they are everywhere. So it means rice grain. It, Simplified version like this, the pronunciation is mu yi mi third tone. Because we don't have this measurement of meter in China in the past, now we just borrow this pronunciation mi, you know, to represent the meter because of the pronunciation. So if we say yi mi, it means one meter now. It looks a little bit similar with this one. Remember, we just learned this is uh, the already um, green or the wheat or rice already uh, wiped. Is he? This pronunciation is me. Dear, pier, hung, shu, pier, nai, me. It's a very important character in China. We eat it almost every day. Remember, we have learned this character already in the past uh, when we learned uh, describing the word, describing position. This means inside. And I said it also a measurement. It means equals to 500 meters. In the past, uh, you know, about uh, 25 uh, families living together in the area, like distance of 500 meter. Uh, so how about uh, the kilometer? How Chinese to describe the kilometer? So, gong li. Gong li, yi gong li. Gong means public, general public. Gong li, yi gong li equals to 1,000 meter. So it means the equals liang li. The meter equals to liang li. Er li. This on the top is like number ba ba number eight. 
and pie zhe dian. It means public, general public. It also means male. Gong means um, public, general public, or, or male. It doesn't mean to. This is simply the mass. We put gong uh, li, make it different with uh, the traditional Chinese measurement li, which is only 500 meters. This is an uh, um, image of uh, an axe, actually. It evolves like this, simplified version. Jin pronunciation, jin, jin. It is a measurement of weight. Yi jin equals 500 gram. This one we just learned, right? A public or general public. Yi gong jin in Chinese, if we say yi gong jin, it means one kilogram. Pie, pie, hang, shu. This character, you see um, two people inside, and uh, it pronounced as le yi ang liang, the third tone. It is also a measurement of weight. Actually, we just have learned jin, yi jin equals to 500 gram, and yi jin equals to shi liang, 10 liang, which means yi liang equals to 50 gram. Because we don't have this concept of gram in China in the past, we borrowed a character, this character, which the pronunciation is similar to gram. It pronounces ke, e, ke. Yi ke means yi gram. Character also means two, also means two. But when it used to, as a measurement, it means uh, 50 gram. We write like this, heng shu. Hung zhe go pie nai pie nai liang and gram ke hung pie shu hung zhe hung pie shu zhe go. About the measurement, um, I would like to correct the one mistake I have made in the past. Um, I think on the day we were talking about the weather and agriculture related to a few characters, I talked to you this character, Mu, means this uh, farmland on top of it, just plus a dot and hung. It pronounced uh, as a Mu. Uh, I, I have said that it equals 0 0.667 acre, which was wrong. I would like to, and my math is terrible, okay? Actually, yi mu equals 667 square meters. This is, uh, this time is correct. This shape re image represent that you hold something in your mouth. And it evolved, you know, currently the simplified version like this means Today, the pronunciation is jin, jin, jin. The pronunciation is exactly like the character we just have learned. You now, the measurement of weight, 500 gram, mean, pronunciation is also jin. Uh, this jin means today. We put this jin, tian together. This word means today. And if we put a mouse below this jin, it means actually exactly means you hold something in your mouth. Han, he, an, han. I think this is not a word you know related to measurement, but I think it would be easier for you to remember it. Just to put a mouse below it means you hold something in your mouth. It is simple to write it. Pierre, na. It's like a a person on the top. Dot, hung pie, jin, today. Yeah, we just have learned today. This character means yesterday. This uh, a day just passed. That's a, a person uh, sitting behind, you know, with the back means a day just passed. So this means yesterday. Zuo tian, zuo tian together yesterday.
Pronunciation is zi wu zuo, second tone. Left part is the sound. We have learned, right? Right part, pie, heng, shu, heng, heng, zuo, yesterday. This means front. But when it describes the time, you know, put together with the tian, qian tian, means the day before yesterday. Remember? Tian tian means the day before yesterday. There is a, another measurement which we don't use very often now, but this character means shi chi equals to shi uh, chi. The pronunciation is zhang, zhi ang zhang. Uh, the writing, in terms of writing, it's very simple. Uh, remember the character da, da is like this, but if you write the last stroke nine from here is means jump. Okay, let's recap those words, you know, for the measurement. Ru, a day, year, month, nian, year, fen, minute, miao, second, shi, hour, jian. Time, 时间, together means time. Uh, this also means gap. 尺, equals to 33.3 centimeter. 寸, 3.3 uh, centimeter. 里, 500 meter. 公里, 1 kilometer. 金, 500 gram. 克, gram. 金, today. 昨, yesterday. 前天, the day before yesterday. Mi, meter. Zhang equals to 10, 十, 十. He means uh, the uh, rice or wheat. Shao, small, less. That's all for today. I hope you like it. See you next time. 再见.